What year did Billy Joel graduate high school? A little pop quiz for you guys. That's a little pop quiz for you to start this one. And uh, it's a little bit of a trick question. Yeah. So if you're a Billy Joel fan, you might know this one, but you might not. And if you don't and you want to know, stick around to the end of the video. We'll give you that answer. And uh, this is our third track from Billy Joel that we're doing today. Yeah, I've been really enjoying him. He's been awesome thus far. Yeah, he does a very good job at like storytelling. Great, great uh, songwriting ability. Yes. And uh, Piano Man, I love that in particular. Me One too. of my favorites that we've done on the channel. You guys really loved it. You came through and supported that video quite a bit. Hitting us with likes and comments and all that. And you wanted us to jump into a little more Billy Joel. So here we are today. What do we got yep. on the docket, Samantha? We didn't start the fire. Yeah, and um, this is uh, apparently one of his more popular songs. Did really well. I think it went to number one on the charts, and I think this was on an album that went to number one in the cool. U.S., and we have found out as we've gotten to know Billy Joel a little bit more that he has sold a ton of records yes. and is a mainstay. Very successful. In, uh, in particular in the U.S. in terms of uh, pop culture and uh, his re renowned artistry. He's re really well known, obviously. Um, heard the name before Billy Joel, but when we you know, started the channel, didn't know anything about him. No, not and, really. And uh, now we've gotten a little bit more, so I'm excited to check out this one and see what kind of songwriting he's going to bring to the table on it. Yeah, me too. I feel like he always like paints a very interesting picture of what's going on around yeah. him in this the song yeah and the last one and you know mm -hmm. he's the piano man in the bar and yeah you get to see and visualize all the people going through their settings and we do that all the time people watching but he was able to really like you said story put paint the story and make you visualize that and mm -hmm. stay engaged so yeah you ready to check out we didn't start the fire i am let's do it let's go This one is like overload a sensory lot going overload. on Holy. at the same time yeah yeah i mean between the video and the lyrics and everything i mean yeah. i guess it's it's you know it is a combination of both maybe if you're just listening to one it wouldn't be so much sensory overload but mm -hmm. um so from what i gather he's like started from i don't know when specifically what time frame he started from um based on what we're looking at i would assume like maybe the 50s somewhere around there and then has started listing off historical events, events that have gone through all the way yeah. through and i know some of them some of them i'm like what are you talking about i have no clue because it's you know predating my yeah. my, my existence rattling them off pretty fast yeah and it's an interesting sound as well because like it's got this definitely got a pop feel to it but it's almost got like a a punk sound to me mm -hmm. like a punk rock sound almost yeah. as well um and then the way he's kind of rattling off the lyrics is almost like a rap almost yeah like you a know? very f interesting fusion of styles yeah it's very unique and then combining the historical context with it which i really do like 
um, and showing his, you know, is it, it's interesting because it's not like he's just saying them. Like he's not saying anything about them. Yeah, yeah, just listing them off. Yeah, but then you have the visuals here, and like, did you notice the this kid, like kid on the screen right now, right? She's getting older. Yeah. Right, it was a baby initially. Yeah, yeah, like they're showing like the, the family like going through different time periods right. as it grows, and like the kitchen changing, and the mom and the dad getting older. And, right. Yeah. So you notice like the visual representation. Yeah, and of they that. even have things on there, right? Like of going along with the historical events, like the newspaper, for example, had like Elvis Presley like joins the war and like yeah. other stuff that have been happening throughout. While those they're things. going through their exactly. growth, exactly. Yeah. And then so like even the smiley face here that would make me think that maybe we're like <laughs> getting into the '60s here or something like yeah, that. Yeah, '60s. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then on top of that, the, the song is called we didn't start the fire. Right. Yeah. So to me, that is like kind of representing because there's so many large historical events he's referencing that no matter what time period you're in, there's always something going on. Yeah. Especially cause he says we didn't start the fire. The world's been, the yeah. world's been burning since it's been turning. Right. So yeah. basically saying like every decade you go through, there's going to be fires. And then I think he says something else I couldn't pick out specifically, but something about like, we essentially tried to like deal with the fires or like try to deal with what's going on or make it better, but you're not going to be able to like put them out. Type right. Thing. And cause each decade is basically going to have a new, new set fire. of fires that exactly. are going to start running. Right. Yeah. Although I think the fires in the world going on right now are a little bit more chaotic, but I think that's the point of the song is to say like, you may feel like, in your time frame that they're really bad. Yeah, like the world's ending type thing. But probably other people have felt the same way. Yeah. So it's not just us. We didn't just make it the way it is by starting the fire today. There's always yeah. been fires it's along been, the way. It's been growing throughout history. Yeah. Anyways, really cool again from Billy Joel. He yeah, very does not, creative. Yeah, he never fails to impress from the creativity standpoint. I think like we kind of hit the nail on the head there talking about like the cycle of life and how, you know, it, it's yeah. going to, everybody's life is going to go through these cycles, but the world is still going to have things going on within it. Right. Like how he said, like we didn't ignite it, but we tried to fight it and mm -hmm. it'll still burn on even after we're gone. Yep. So just, I think what we were talking about. Yeah. I definitely there. picked up more of the historical references as we got later into it because yeah. it's, it's, you know, more, uh, to recent to, to us. Yeah. yeah. Um, and stuff that we would have learned about in school yeah. and stuff like that. Right. But, um, it was also, you know, I don't think it was very complex in the way it was put together, which I think is different than, you know, Piano Man maybe, for mm -hmm. for example. Um, 
it was a little more simplistic in the structure of the song you know, repetitive course and just going through the lyrics type thing. Um, but it did feel at the same time like there was a lot of depth in the song, mm -hmm. you know, in the instrumentation that it was used. It felt very vibrant. But like I said, the just the way it was structured wasn't complex. Yeah. Um, and obviously we mentioned the creativity. Uh, I just it's so was so impressed with Billy, Billy uh, Joel. It's just like, you know, he's got a, such a unique perspective in the way he approaches his music. And this is three different songs now that we've seen uh, scenes from an Italian restaurant, you know, then completely different was Piano Man. And this is completely different. Like yeah, you couldn't box him in at all. No. And sure. I love it. I just love the songwriting, the way, you know, he came up with this this idea. So even though it wasn't maybe as complex as something like Piano Man from the structure of the song, I felt like it held more weight for different reasons, more so from the composition of let me just throw all these events in here then combine that with the music video that really showed the changes that you know is happening through their lives as we mm -hmm. see with our lives. So the depth of the creativity in the song itself mm -hmm. was still there, and uh, and then you you know closed it off at the end with it looked like the dad had passed away, and uh, you know kind of the circle of life that you had touched on right you know a minute ago. And, you know, coming to the close and that we all go through this during our lives. So yeah. just wild, though, like in such a short song, four minutes, that there is so much in the, in that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Comparatively like, to now to today. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think that like you, you just kind of touched on like the father passing away, but then they almost showed like the grandchild. Right. So then it's like the next cycle mm -hmm. is beginning and showing how like, you know, like even after you pass, there's going to be the next generation taking on the same challenges just in different ways. Yeah. I think that like had I have just listened to the song without the video, I would definitely pick up that he's talking about historical events and talking mm -hmm. about burning and like get the, the, I guess, the message of the song. But I feel like I might have not felt like it had as much impact without the video. I feel like the video was like a really good visual and had impact for the song. Like I think he did a really good job with the vi making the video complement the song very well. Yeah, agreed. I think it was a great addition to the song. Yes. Yeah. Um, and the two combined really well together, which you don't always see that with the video component. Yeah. Sometimes they're just there as a filler to throw on, on MTV, right? Yeah. But they may have maximized the use of, of the video in this Yeah, because in the beginning you had said, right, that like the there's a lot going on. It was almost like, you know, um, stimulation overload. But I feel like have you had you just listened to the song, it wouldn't have been all that complex. But mm -hmm. when you pair it with the video, you're like, okay, it's it all kind of blends together. It makes you think more about it. Yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of Billy Joel now. This is our third song from him, and it's been fire all the way through. Yeah, I think you guys got to get in those comments and let us know what else we should check out from Billy yes. Joel. There was a lot of suggestions. This was one of them in those comments, but we always appreciate the the comments and the insights on where we should go next. So do that again on this one, guys. We really do appreciate the help. And uh, I'm a like I said, big fan of Billy Joel. I can see why he was so renowned. Yeah. Um, I just love the creativity that yeah. he brings to the table For in sure. all three songs that we've done thus far. And I like yeah. the historical references. I'm a big history buff. Yes. So, you know, I like to reflect on history and I think he did a great job at showing, you know, that idea and, and making you reflect at the same time. So yeah. now all we got to do is give you guys the answer to the pop quiz that we had right yes. at the beginning of the video. And the question was, when did he graduate high school? question was when did he graduate high school yeah it was a little bit of a trick question for you and um the answer is 1992 which is 25 years after he started that's right so he dropped out of high school and it said screw it i'm doing music <laughs> and then went back and, and got his high school graduation degree. finished it a little bit later on 25 yeah. years later so yeah. um you you know if you dropped out of high school it doesn't really mean a whole lot there's a lot of people out there that you know game back, super super GD. successful yeah. and didn't finish their high school so doesn't uh, mean a whole lot, apparently, or maybe it means everything. It depends yeah. on if you work in education or not, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. So um, anyways, that's it from us today, guys. And just remember to hit that like button for us. Leave yes. us a comment and hit the subscribe and notification bell. And we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.